Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and welcome back to another Smite request and for today we got requested playing Sylvanas and actually basic attack or power full power Sylvanas so I'll kinda go in between I will get some basic attack items as well as some damage items because of course they work very well together I don't want to do all basics and I don't want to do all damage Although all damage is pretty good as well, but I kind of wanted to get this, those basics in there as well. So, that's why. I haven't played Joust 3 Phase 3 in a long time. I usually play it with Party and this time around I am with Party as well. And as you can see, we are quite tanky but immobile and that might be an issue for the tanks they have. They have Sobek as well as Ares. Sobek very good with his ultimate against us because none of us have a leap or an escape. And Ares, of course, ha can have the pool, and the pool will be very effective. Both teams have a Scotty, of course, as well as a Calder, which makes sense. And we have, of course, Mia Sylvanas and a Zonquake. So, we'll definitely need to see what we can do. They were kind of looking for stealing that one, but I think they weren't in position to either do blue or the red. So a bit delayed on that one. Will help out a lot. Ooh, that is rough. Scotty already pulled in and used my shell as fast as possible. Used my heal. But she got pulled out of reach of my heal. Just barely. Barely able to survive. The shell definitely did save her, even though it was quite late. And Scotty already forced back. Um, probably better to just head back. Uh, this time I was on time with my heal. And looks like even though. Ooh, that's rough. Try to predict that he went to the right side. Didn't go that way. It is difficult to hit it free aim, but it was off the mark by a long shot. Actually, Sobek on his own, he took tower shots as well. His team is not around. We might be able to pick him up with a few basics. And the slip and slide from Scotty will secure that kill. And actually gets us the first blood. Just because his team wasn't in position, wanted to go for the blue buff. And... He didn't really recognize it, went for the pull. It was a good pull, but without follow-up, he just doesn't have enough damage. Especially without ultimate. So, yeah, I'll just head back, get my mana. Definitely something I need. And I'll go for uh, Talcon's Ring first. It's probably the best one you can go for to start off if you go for a basic attack build. Because the early additional damage, as well as the uh, amount of gold it costs, is just way better to pick up early than late. And with his basic... AoE basic attacks is actually very effective, especially for the wave clear, but also for just hitting multiple targets at the same time. Which is, of course, something you always like to see. More damage on more people. So we pull off the mark, actually get slip and slide, get rooted, and he is stuck in the tower. And is picked up by Sky for a third kill. So that worked out great. Uh, the fact that he missed it and also got slip and slide further into the tower. With the root afterwards as well. He didn't have his ultimate so he had no opportunity to get out in any shape or form. No way he would have uh, got out of that one. Especially with that nice slip and slide. And is, is it necessary? No. Uh, I elected not to go for the ultimate. Uh, I, it was only one target. I used my ultimate for CC immunity against the Ares ultimate. So that's also something I need to take into consideration. But we also had enough damage. So why risk using my ultimate and getting pulled in a short span afterwards if I don't have to? Ooh, bit off the mark. Kinda figured he would go forwards. I'll just try and hit him. I did hit him. No knock up. Uh, if I was just a fraction of a second later I might have gotten the knock up shell as well as the healing on the Skadi. Uh, the healing will be worn off but the shell will still be active. Actually curse used as well. Ooh, not able to pull the Sobek away from the Skadi. I'll try to body block what I can, but I'm slow for such a long time. Ares very deep, not able to pick up the Skadi, and actually a double kill for me. Oh my god, that was so close. Skadi just again barely able to survive. And I guess it all has to do with the fact that they can't really do too much damage if they don't focus all their abilities at the same time. Um, if they don't hit everything, as well as Scotty probably having more issues to follow up. But, definitely works out in our favor. 3-0 in 3. They haven't made a kill yet. Uh, they probably will make kills, of course, because there's no way Scotty will get away every single time like this. But, 
doesn't matter. You can see a lot of damage with the basics now. Also a good amount of attack speed. Actually not an awful lot, but we might be able to steal this one. Actually about 100 damage per basic, which is a lot. Can I pull someone in? Actually Ares gets pulled in. Uh, should probably... Uh, damn it, I didn't recognize that one. I should have body blocked him. Um, that way it would have been a lot easier for us to... Then actually we might have been able to confirm the kill, so that's a bit rough. But we are able to pick up the Scotty. My basic is enough to finish him off. Ooh, Zonkwe very deep. is not able to get out in time. But Kaldo is able to pick up the Sobek. Giving us even this time a trade in our advantage. So, bit of 3 versus 3. I don't play it a lot on my own. I really don't like it as much. Actually, usually I get first blooded. That's something that's really... Well, that's my specialty in, in this uh, game mode, getting first blooded. If I play uh, any other god than Guardian, I guess. This time around I wasn't first blooded, wasn't focused as well. They don't really recognize the fact that I don't have any defense. Ooh, that is rough. Scotty plucked by the Sobek. Well done in that regard, but uh, definitely very rough. Ooh, tried to go for the, the free aim pull. I could have just uh, rooted and then pulled, probably a better option. But that's a lot of damage, my shell way too late and that will be a pull as well as a kill on the Zonkwe. I might be able to pick up the Skadi if she's not careful and I'm able to pick up her but of course with the Sobek ultimate I'm guaranteed to die and that's unfortunate. They get a lot of gold because I had 5 kills, it is a shutdown bonus so they get a lot of gold for me. That is unfortunate of course but... At that point, unavoidable. I don't think if I was just running away instantly, I would have survived. So, I guess trading out even, making sure that at least we got the kill as well. I'll go for a Book of Thought. This will give me a lot of more power. Uh, the ultimate is sometimes underestimated how much damage it can do when you build power on Sylvanas. It can hit for a lot. Even though they do have two tanky targets, which makes things a little bit more difficult. They already have the... Um, uh, what's called? They already have the hardware. So that will increase the amount of defense they have, of course. <laughs> Slip a slide, bit awkward. Not, we're not able to pick up any of them. That's really unfortunate. Two of them very low. We might be able to go for the tower because they are quite low. Maybe not even able to do anything. But as you can see, my basics aren't doing too much against at least the Ares and he has the hardware so that kind of makes sense just pull him in let's see can we deal some good amount of damage good amount of damage not enough to finish him but we'll force him back to the base actually breastplate on both the guardians as well and at this point I'll just go for the tower it is enough to pick up the tower actually Zonkui is still able to pick up one of the opponents before dying himself that's great you always want to try trade out if you get the opportunity um, that's also why I died lost. Can I get to the pool? No. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I tried to go for the pool. But, uh, well, I guess it's not really in there. I tried to block, but the tail whip is not something you can block. And nice sanctuary. I don't have any abilities up. Calder and the minions just way too much damage. And I will fall as well. I should probably have just run away. Uh, I tried to help the Skadi, but at the point of... So back ulting, there was no opportunity for me to really help out. Uh, Try to kill Scotty, but Scotty stayed around, was able to at least deal enough damage while keeping myself safe. Ooh, nice pluck and an insane amount of damage for the chains on Ares. Even though he is quite behind, being level eight, but some crazy level seven, so still quite rough to deal with. And of course. Us being very immobile doesn't make it a lot easier and the fact that he died uh, last time will make sure that he doesn't have any uh, passive stacks that is his own Kui of course but uh, that makes things a lot more difficult for him to survive the engagement I'll pick up this buff just for the cooldown reduction more than anything else nice ultimate nice ultimate inner sword pawns by the Sobek I could go for the ultimate no not I'll just keep that one uh, for a more group top scenario Actually, we can collapse if we go behind the backside. Nice, Scotty already picked up, so that's great. Actually, blocking the Sobek pull. Uh, might be able to go for the heal. The heal is enough. Able to knock up the Ares as well. This will probably be a DSI, especially with the way he's running. And uh, 
Ooh, still was trying to go for the kill. Uh, Zonkui is just a little bit too healthy to really do anything against it. As you can see, decent amount of damage actually. Um, the Void Stone, it is a bit of a hybrid item. I would like to go for this time. Um, even though it is protections, I kind of feel like it is damage as well. Because every single one of them is pretty close range to me. As well as uh, it providing power, so that will help out. And also for the Zong Kuei. So I think that was just the best option in this game. Um, afterwards I will go for the Demonic Grip. Demonic Grip will help out because they are quite tanky. And with another Magical in the team as well. I think it's not too bad to pick that one up. Even though I don't like it as much as I used to do. It used to give a uh, flat pan as well. Now it's just percentage based. So it is not as good anymore as I'd like it to be. I liked it better last, uh, how it was, but kind of makes sense. It was just way too powerful. As well as the... Uh, what's it called? Ooh, that is rough. I probably should have just left him to die. Oh no, nice solo plug. Actually, triple root, so... Oh, never mind. I figured I might be able to get out, but uh, with that Sobek ult coming out, no way for me to get out of that one. And that is just rough. Uh, probably should have just left the some Quay to die at that point. Uh, trying to heal him up was not fast enough at all. Didn't heal as much. And Sobek having his dash is able to get away. An insane amount of damage by the Ares again. Ares... Trademark is a lot of damage and he's definitely shown that in this game. Nice return kill by the Zonkwe. Let's see, can he pick up someone else as well? I'll try and go and assist him on this one. Actually insane amount of damage on the Ares. And it actually turns out even. Ares Chains probably picked up the Zonkwe in the tower. Picked up the Ares or just at the same time. Nice block actually, was able to pick up Sobek. Decent amount of damage, not able to burst him down without my ultimate. Uh, but I'm not sure why he's electing to not flee. I think he would have been able to get away easily if he just ran away. But I guess he didn't want to. I don't mind. Free kill. Bite me. I'll take it. <laughs> so, uh, I am level 12 at this point. So I will head back as fast as possible. Since I'm power built, I'll pick this one up. Uh, especially with my ultimate being up, I think it's just a better... Uh, option for me to have this one as well as I have the additional relic um, I don't want to get Sprint sprint will help out a bunch actually a lot of lag it looked like I didn't even have it But when I go into the store actually can activate it. Hm, that's hard. Oh, whatever uh, It will help out a lot against the Ares chains as well as against the Sobek ultimate and those are the threats that are the most issue for us at this point because we are so immobile they went for the power buff, it was definitely not there. Nice blinking by the Ares. Actually a bit late on my ultimate, but at this point I get all three of them, so I guess that turned out great for us. Nice Sanctuary by the enemy Skadi, as well as Sprint. Still picked up for some reason, no kill feed. This is very odd. Looks like I've having some lag issues or something. That is unfortunate, as you can see all the numbers coming down now. But, insane amount of damage, a lot of bursts as well. But, in the end... Ooh, that's rip. <laughs> okay, game, calm down, please. So, I'll go for a Rath Tutti next. Uh, Rath Tutti will help out a bunch. Just getting a lot more power and a lot more healing online. Even though my heal is doing a lot of healing, they just have a lot of bursts as well. Uh, a lot of sustained damage. Ares, a lot of damage as well. I have a high base health um, for a Guardian. So, his Serum Flash will deal more damage to me. Uh, Sobek can deal a lot of damage as well and since they both went for pretty tanky builds, especially on an Ares, it's just so effective. If we can't burst someone down, it will be very, very difficult for us. They might go for the Bull Demon King. I will try and go for the Ares. Oh, <laughs> that's fortunate. Try to go for the sneaky play, grabbing him from over the wall, but actually... Ooh, they might go for the Bull Demon King, and at this point, when we're going to check it, I see the flash coming by. That will shut down our Phoenix. So that will be an issue, they can dive. It is unfortunate that they have Sobek with the, the built-in healing reduction. Um, especially for my heal be being so delayed, because it's healing over time. His third ability on the Sobek will he reduce the healing. 
It's very difficult. Well, it's not very difficult. It's just something annoying to deal with for me as well as some Quay because we both have healing in our kits. But we'll have to see. Ooh, Scotty there as well. An insane amount of burst from the Scotty. I think she got some crits out, or I don't know, but. Okay, can I see some damage numbers? Some confirmation that I do something, please! Okay, curse coming out. Uh, no way to go. Sprint as well as shell. Five seconds cooldown at this point. And, well, that was one hell of a leg spike. Would it, I, think, I think it wouldn't have mattered anyway. I uh, had no way to get away. I did do a decent amount of damage, not too much. They are just a bit too tanky. Actually, so we're dying on Titan, but with Scotty on the Titan. And, well, some Kui at this point back, it's not enough. And they will pick up the victory. So that's a bit unfortunate. We were, uh, we did have a very good start, but in the end, they just played it a bit better than us. Uh, Sobek very well, played very well with the plucks. The plucks were very powerful against us. If he gets a pluck on someone, they are immediately out of position and that can be very difficult to deal with. The only one for who it didn't really matter was for me because I could just, just use my ultimate to engage if he plucked me into all of them. But I guess it's fine. As you can see Ares, a lot of damage. Um, 11 in 4 as well, so it really worked out great for him. Uh, but Sobek did good work as well, like I said, with the plucks. If he gets Scotty, then she's basically screwed because there's no way a Scotty can run away from an Ares as well as a Sobek. Makes things difficult. Some Kui being pulled is very difficult as well, of course, because he only has the uh, passive protections to rely on. But I guess it's fine. So we all went for pretty, uh, well, experimental build, I would not really want to say, but... Uh, Sylvanas, it's not a common build, of course, going damage for him. I did think it worked out pretty well. If you look at the Zonkwe, went for a basic attack build as well. Telkan is actually very good on Zonkwe with his 3. So that's also a lot of fun to try out. And, uh, well, Skadi went for high power build with the first 3 items and then some crit items. Which is also not bad. But the 2 mental of Discord on the enemy side, very powerful. And they were able to pick up the victory. Anyway, thanks so much for the request. It was a lot of fun to play Sylvanas this way. Um, I don't think I actually haven't played Sylvanas on the channel. So that's also a great request. I haven't even featured, 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 English, featured him once. Uh, so I guess this is the first time. A bit awkward to do it this way. But it's completely fine. So if you have any other build requests or just god requests, game mode requests or combinations in any way, of shape or form, please let me know. And as always, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.